In this video we're going to take a look at imaginary numbers. So an imaginary number is the product of a real number and the square root of negative 1. And we use the lowercase i symbol to represent the square root of minus 1. And we're going to think about the meaning of the square root of minus 1 by using this diagram here. So we've got the real number line going from left to right and then we've got the imaginary number line going from bottom to top. And we're going to start at position 1 on the real number line and we're going to multiply by i and we see that we get 1i. And if we multiply by i again we get to minus 1. So this shows us that i is a number that we can multiply by twice to get to minus 1. And so it's just giving us a visual representation of the square root of minus 1 and how that works. Now if we continue we get to minus 1i and if we multiply by i again we get back to 1. Now we can use this in uh, a number of different ways and for a number of different applications. So we can keep track of rotation of objects and we can rotate vectors with, with this and we'll see that in later videos. Um, what I want to think about right now is what happens if we square i that is i times i gives us minus 1. If we have i to the 3, that's i times i times i. Well, the first two i's multiplied together is minus 1, and then we're left with uh, an i on its own, so we get to minus 1i. i to the 4, well, the first two multiplied together is minus 1, and the second two of these i's multiplied together is minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 1 is just 1. When we go to higher powers, we can think of this as being i to the 4 times i, for when we have i to the 5, so this is the same. And we, now we know that i to the 4 is 1, so we've just got 1 times i. And we can carry on this process, and it just makes it a lot easier to think about and understand um, working out i to the power of a number for, for any number. And we're going to take a look at some examples for higher order numbers. So let's take the example of i to the power of 33. 33 divided by 4 is 8 remainder 1. So we have i to the 4 8 times and then we just multiply by i once. So that gives us 1i because i to the 4 is just 1 so all of these are just 1 multiplied together and then we multiply by 1. Another example, i to the 5 to 7, 527. 5 to 7 divided by 4 is 131, remainder 3. So we have i to the 4 multiplied together 131 times, but each of these is just 1, works out to be 1, and then we're left with i cubed. So what we get at the end, i cubed, as we saw on the previous slide, is minus 1i. So that is the answer at the end, because all of these are just multiplying by 1. OK, we can also use these to work out the square roots of negative numbers. So square root of minus 25 is the same as saying square root of 25 times minus 1. Now, because of the properties of square roots, we can actually write this out as the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1 square root of 25 is plus or minus 5 and then we just write in i for the square root of negative 1. So that gives us the answer there. Another example, same process, this time square root of minus 81. We separate things out, square root of 81 is plus or minus 9 and then we include the i for the square root of negative 1. So that's been a, a video looking at imaginary numbers. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.